Hi. In this uh, second presentation of the uh, UART playlist, we will look at the uh, operation of um, its receiving subsystem. So after watching this presentation, I hope that you will uh, be able to describe how a uh, UART receiver works and also uh, to explain the uh, oversampling scheme that is used to uh, read the uh, incoming data. As you will recall from the previous presentation, the uh, UART comprises a receiver and a transmitter. However, for the uh, sake of simplicity, uh, in this presentation we will only consider the uh, receiving subsystem, which um, contains the uh, three blocks that are shown in this slide. Uh, the broad rate generator is the block on the left, and uh, it generates the uh, sampling ticks, which uh, will be used to uh, estimate the moment when the uh, uh, logic value that is present at the received data line must be had. Uh, the second one is the uh, receiver block itself, uh, which is uh, essentially a deserializer, uh, taking in um, the uh, bits uh, read at the received data line, one at a time, and uh, packing them together in parallel uh, in a byte that is delivered at the uh, data out uh, bus. And finally, the uh, third block, which is uh, an interface circuit to the uh, system logic. Uh, the interface circuit may or may not contain a buffer uh, to store one or more bytes uh, delivered by the uh, receiver, uh, but it must always support some form of handshaking uh, protocol uh, which will be used to inform uh, when uh, new bytes are um, waiting to be picked up by the uh, system logic, uh, which in turn can uh, reset this information uh, by using the uh, read UART uh, signal after those bytes uh, have been picked up, of course. Uh, the, uh, boot rater, uh, the boot rate generator is uh, highlighted here and uh, is particularly worth of mention uh, since it generates the uh, sampling ticks uh, that enable the uh, receiver block to know the exact moments when the uh, logic value that is present at the uh, received data line must be read. Uh, since the sender and the receiver do not share a common clock signal as you know uh, this block generates uh, multiple uh, sampling ticks within uh, each bit period, as you see uh, in this waveform uh, captured from the uh, simulation. Uh, 16 sampling ticks per bit period is uh, a common rate, and uh, in that case it is known as a 16 times oversampling scheme, as um, indicated in the title of uh, this slide. Well, in this scheme, all we have to do is uh, to count eight sampling ticks uh, from the beginning of the uh, bit period, and then we know that we are in the uh, middle of that bit period. We may also count 16 uh, sampling ticks from each middle uh, point in the bit period, which will take us to the uh, middle point of the next uh, bit period. Well, uh, in practice, uh, what happens is that uh, upon the detection of the uh, start bit, uh, we count eight sampling ticks to identify the middle point of that start bit. And from there on, we count uh, uh, 16 sampling ticks to identify uh, the middle point of each bit that we want to read. And these will, of course, comprise the uh, data bits, the parity parity bit if it exists and uh, also the uh, stop bit. I recommend you to uh, pause the video for a moment at this uh, slide and uh, look at these waveforms to uh, realize the importance of the uh, uh, sampling tick in the overall operation of the uh, UART uh, receiver. Well, uh, Actually, the both rate generator is simply a modulus n counter that uh, generates an end of count tick, which is used as the sampling tick. 
uh, at the rate that is uh, determined by, by the oversampling scheme used, by the system clock speed, and by the uh, required boot rate. Um, if we consider a boot rate of uh, 19,200 bits per second, as indicated here, and a, a 16 times uh, oversampling scheme, then uh, we will have uh, 307,200 sampling ticks per second. And, uh, at, and what this means is that at a uh, 50 megahertz clock speed, for example, uh, then a counter uh, will uh, reach the value of uh, 163 during each uh, sampling tick period or in between two consecutive sampling ticks. So this means that uh, the boot rate generator can uh, simply be designed as a uh, modulus 163 counter which uh, is restarted uh, whenever its output reaches the uh, limit. So uh, the uh, UART uh, receiver operation may be summarized as indicated in this slide. Uh, we will uh, start uh, by waiting uh, for the start period itself. And when the uh, start bit is detected, so whenever we uh, detect that we have captured a zero at the receive data line, we will initialize the sampling tick counter. Then, in the uh, second step, we will, we will wait for this uh, sampling ticks counter to reach 7, which uh, will indicate that uh, we have reached the middle of the start bit, and then restart the sampling tick counter again, and move on to step 3. In step 3, uh, we will wait for the sampling ticks counter to reach 16, because this will mean that we are at the middle of the first data bit. So uh, we will be able to read the logic value at the receive data line and to feed it to the uh, deserializer and then of course to restart the uh, sampling ticks counter so that we again count for 16 uh, sampling ticks to detect the moment when we are at the middle of the next bit period. And of course, we have to repeat uh, step three for uh, as many data bits as there are in the um, uh, transmission frame. Then one additional time for reading the parity bit if it is used. And finally, uh, one last time uh, to read the stop bit and then the whole process is uh, restarted. And that's it. Thanks for your attention.